In a world that often urges us to grasp tightly at what we desire, there lies a profound strength in the gentle art of letting go. Welcome to today's exploration of a transformative Stoic principle that could revolutionize your approach to life and success. Detachment. Ancient philosophers like Epictetus and Seneca championed the seemingly paradoxical power of release as a pathway to attainment. As we unpack this concept, you'll discover that sometimes, the less you strive to control, the more naturally things come your way. Imagine you set a paper boat adrift on a calm lake. You carefully fold the paper, craft it into a boat, and gently place it on the water's surface. Once it sails away from your fingers, you no longer control its course. The wind and waves may guide it gently across the water or send it swirling, but the less you attempt to direct it, the more beautifully it navigates its journey. This captures the essence of detachment, crafting your ambitions with care, setting them in motion, and then stepping back to allow the natural forces to play their role. It's about initiating movement, releasing control, and trusting in the currents of life to carry your endeavors where they need to go. Join us as we delve into how this ancient wisdom seamlessly integrates into modern living, bringing about greater abundance, joy, and success. If you find value in our journey through the depths of stoic secrets and practical philosophy, remember to like this video, share it with your friends, and subscribe to our channel for more insightful content on philosophy, self-improvement, and achieving balance in life. Let's get started on this enlightening path together. Number 1. Discovering the Origins of Your Desires Have you ever stopped to wonder where your deepest desires come from? Not the passing whims of what to eat for dinner or what show to watch, but the true driving forces behind your ambitions and longings. It's a fascinating question, one that goes deeper than most of us realize. Our desires are more than fleeting thoughts. They shape our goals, direct our actions, and ultimately define the course of our lives. But here's the paradox. Sometimes, the more we hold on to a desire, the more elusive it becomes. And when we learn to let go, that's when we often get what we want effortlessly. The Stoics had a profound understanding of this. They didn't view desires as inherently good or bad, but as forces that, if left unchecked, could either mislead us or guide us toward virtue. Seneca, one of the most prominent Stoic philosophers, once said, It's not the man who has too little, but the one who craves more who is truly poor. His words suggest that attachment to our desires, this constant hunger for more, can lead to suffering. But there's a way out. By loosening our grip on those desires, we free ourselves from the pain of wanting. And ironically, this often brings us closer to what we seek. This brings us to the idea of letting go, the paradox that Stoics and modern thinkers alike have championed. When you stop fixating on getting what you want, whether it's in relationships, career, or life in general, you create an effortless magnetism. By focusing on your own growth and peace of mind, you become a person others are drawn to. It's about wanting without needing, striving without obsessing. So where do these desires actually come from? Are they hardwired into us through biology, or are they molded by our environment? It's a question that has puzzled both philosophers and scientists for ages. Some argue that our desires stem from basic survival instincts, while others believe they are shaped by the culture and society we live in. Everywhere we look, we are told what to want, from the perfect body to the latest gadget. But more than that, there's evidence suggesting that our desires might be connected to something deeper, something spiritual or universal. Carl Jung, the famous psychiatrist, introduced the idea of the collective unconscious, 
a shared pool of symbols and archetypes that influence not just our thoughts and emotions, but also our desires. In many ways, this aligns with Stoic teachings that encourage us to reflect on our deepest motivations. Are these desires aligned with our core values? Will fulfilling them bring us true, lasting happiness? Or are they simply distractions, pulling us away from what truly matters? We all have desires that range from the mundane to the meaningful. Whether it's a fulfilling career, a loving relationship, financial security, or personal growth. It's important to ask yourself, why do I want this? Where is this desire coming from? And most importantly, does this desire align with the person I want to become? The Stoics believe that true fulfillment comes from aligning your desires with virtue, with reason, and with nature. It's not about suppressing your desires, but guiding them in a way that enhances your life and the lives of those around you. Now, let's apply this to everyday life and relationships. When we fixate on someone, craving their attention or approval, we unknowingly push them away. But when we let go, when we focus on our own self-improvement, our inner peace and our values, we become the kind of person others can't help but be drawn to. This is the beauty of the letting go paradox. You win people over, not by clinging, but by releasing. Remember, your desires don't control you. They are signals. By understanding where they come from and aligning them with your true self, you create a life that is not only meaningful, but effortlessly attractive to others. So ask yourself today, what can you let go of to allow what you truly desire to flow into your life? Before we move on to the next idea, take a moment to reflect on what we've just covered. Desires, as powerful as they are, often shape our paths in life, sometimes for better, sometimes for worse. But when we understand their origins and learn to let go, we gain the freedom to live in alignment with our truest selves. So, I encourage you to pause and share your thoughts in the comments. What desire are you holding on to right now? And how might letting go create space for something even greater? Or simply type, I choose to let go, to reaffirm your commitment to living a life of balance and intention. Number two, bring what you desire into your life. You've likely heard the phrase, let go and let it flow, but there's much more depth to this than meets the eye. When you desire something deeply, like a meaningful relationship or a life-changing opportunity, it's natural to want to go all in, to control, plan, and push for a specific outcome. But here's the catch. The more tightly you hold on, the more you suffocate that potential. Think of it this way. When you hold sand too tightly in your hand, it slips through your fingers. The same goes for desires. The Stoics believed that life is best lived when we align ourselves with nature's order. The universe, in their view, operates with a rational and natural flow. When we disrupt that flow by trying to control every element of a situation, whether it's forcing someone to reciprocate our feelings or trying to manipulate a business deal into going our way, we create resistance. This resistance pushes away exactly what we want to draw closer. Instead, imagine you're aiming to build a deeper connection with someone. Rather than bombarding them with texts, constant attention, or trying to impress them at every turn. What if you focused inward on becoming the best version of yourself? By improving your own life, by becoming more secure, more confident, more fulfilled in your pursuits, something remarkable happens. People start to notice. You begin to exude an energy of self-assurance, which naturally draws others in without you ever having to chase them. This is the paradox in action. By letting go of the need to chase, you become infinitely more attractive. 
This idea closely aligns with the law of attraction, which may not be a Stoic principle, but it beautifully complements Stoic thinking. The law of attraction teaches that our thoughts and emotions have immense power. They're not just inner experiences. They are energies that interact with the world around us. What we focus on, we draw toward us. The Stoics would agree that our minds are powerful tools, and when used in harmony with nature's rational order, we can create a life filled with purpose and balance. Think about it this way. Say you're setting out to achieve a major personal goal, like running a marathon. Instead of fixating on the mechanics, like the training plan, diet, and logistics, what if you immerse yourself in the feeling of having already accomplished it? Picture yourself crossing the finish line, the exhilaration, the pride. You imagine the satisfaction of having pushed your limits, and in doing so, you create a mental state where the outcome feels inevitable. This shift in focus naturally aligns your mind and body with success. The same is true in relationships. When you shift your energy from obsessing over someone else to focusing on your own growth, you radiate a natural confidence that pulls people in. This isn't just a feel-good concept. It's rooted in both philosophy and science. In quantum physics, it's understood that everything in the universe is made of energy vibrating at different frequencies. Our thoughts, emotions, and even desires carry energetic frequencies too. When we focus on positive feelings and thoughts, we elevate our frequency, which in turn attracts experiences and opportunities that resonate at that same level. The Stoics had a similar belief. They understood that the universe has its own order, and our job is not to fight against it, but to align ourselves with it. This means embracing what's within our control and letting go of the rest. Trying to control someone else's feelings or rushing the outcome of a situation only creates stress. Instead, when we trust in the natural flow of life and act in accordance with our true values, things start to fall into place, often without effort. Here's where the real magic happens. The more you release your grip on trying to control every aspect of your life, the more magnetic you become. When you let go of chasing a relationship, for example, and instead channel that energy into building your own life, into becoming a person of substance and purpose, you automatically become more attractive to others. People are drawn to those who are self-assured, to those who exude confidence without desperation. So, my friends, stop running after the things you desire. Instead, align your actions, your thoughts, and your energy with the natural order of the universe. Trust that what's meant for you will find its way into your life when the time is right. Focus on becoming the best version of yourself and watch how effortlessly people, opportunities, and experiences are drawn to you. The universe has its own timing, and when you stop chasing, you open yourself up to receiving what's truly meant for you. Before we dive into the next point, take a moment to reflect on this idea. How does the concept of letting go and allowing things to flow resonate with you? Have you experienced times when, by releasing your grip on control, life started to fall into place in ways you didn't expect? I encourage you to pause and consider how this philosophy might apply to your own journey. Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. Your insights could inspire others who are navigating similar paths. Let's continue this conversation together. Number three, give your best and let go. Now, I know this sounds counterintuitive, especially in a world that tells us to hustle, push harder, and never stop trying. But there's a deeper wisdom here, one that the Stoics mastered centuries ago. Give your best and let go. It's not about giving up or being indifferent. 
It's about knowing when you've done all you can and trusting that things will unfold as they should. This isn't a passive mindset. It's a powerful, intentional act of releasing control and allowing life to flow naturally. Let's apply this idea to relationships, which is where the paradox becomes especially striking. Think about it. How many times have you tried to win someone's affection by doing too much? You text constantly. You try to impress. You put all your energy into making sure they like you. But instead of pulling them closer, it often pushes them away. Why? Because when you're trying too hard, you send out a signal of neediness, of control, and that can be suffocating. What if instead you gave your best, showed up authentically, put in the effort where it matters, and then let go? You allow space for them to recognize your value on their own terms. And here's where the paradox kicks in. By letting go, you become more attractive, more desirable, because you're showing confidence in yourself and the process. This is where Stoicism comes into play. Epictetus, one of the great Stoic philosophers, often spoke about the things we can control versus the things we cannot. We can control our actions, our effort, and how we show up in the world. But the outcome? That's beyond our control. And that's okay. When you internalize this, you free yourself from the anxiety that comes with trying to dictate results. You become focused on what truly matters, your actions, your attitude, your presence. Imagine you're about to give a huge presentation or go on an important date. You've prepared, practiced, and done everything in your power to succeed. But right before you walk in, those familiar thoughts start to creep in. What if they don't like me? What if I mess up? What if I'm not good enough? This is where most people fall into a trap. They become so consumed with controlling the outcome that they sabotage themselves. Instead, take a stoic approach. You've already done the work. You've put in the effort. Now, let go. Trust that whatever happens next is beyond your control, and that's perfectly fine. Focus on being present, on showing up fully, and let the rest unfold naturally. This approach doesn't just apply to big events like presentations or dates. It's something you can practice in every aspect of life. Maybe you're working on a long-term goal, starting a business, improving your health, or cultivating a relationship. You give it your all, but at a certain point, you have to step back and release your need to control every outcome. This doesn't mean you stop trying or caring. It means you trust the process. You trust that by giving your best, you've set the stage for the universe to do its part. The paradox of letting go also applies to personal growth. Many people get stuck in self-improvement loops, constantly pushing themselves to be better, smarter, or more successful. But here's the thing. Personal growth isn't just about doing more. It's about knowing when to let things be. It's about accepting where you are, appreciating how far you've come, and allowing space for growth to happen naturally. Sometimes, the biggest breakthroughs come when we stop forcing things and simply let go. So, how does this all connect to making people want you effortlessly? It's simple. When you stop trying to control everything, when you stop clinging to outcomes and instead focus on being the best version of yourself, you become magnetic. People are drawn to confidence, calmness, and ease. When you show that you're not desperate for a particular result, whether it's someone's approval or a specific achievement, you create an aura of certainty and security that others can't help but be attracted to. In relationships, this means being secure enough in yourself to let things unfold naturally. When you're not constantly chasing or trying to force a connection, you give the other person room to come towards you. You show them that you value yourself 
and that you trust the process. And that's incredibly attractive. The paradox is real. By letting go, you create space for people and opportunities to come into your life with ease. At the heart of this is trust. Trust in yourself, trust in your efforts, and trust in the universe. When you live with this kind of trust, you stop needing to control every detail and instead flow with life. And that's when things start to align in ways you couldn't have planned or forced. So, as you move forward, remember to give your best in everything you do. Show up fully, put in the effort, and then let go. Let the universe surprise you with what happens next. You'll find that when you stop gripping so tightly, life has a way of bringing you exactly what you need, often in ways you never expected. If this resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe for more insights, and click the notification bell to stay connected. Drop a comment with, I let go and trust the process to affirm your shift in mindset and share this message with anyone who could use a reminder that sometimes the most powerful way to get what you want is by letting go. Number four, you will be supported in every direction. Let's dive into the stoic principle that can uplift you at every turn, harmonizing with the natural flow of the universe. Picture life like a river. If you try to swim against the current, you'll exhaust yourself. But if you go with the flow, you conserve energy, and the river takes you further than you could imagine. This isn't about ignoring life's difficulties or pretending challenges don't exist. It's about shifting your mindset and seeing obstacles as opportunities for growth. When you harmonize with this idea, you'll begin to notice that life is constantly offering you encouragement, even in moments that feel tough. One of the most powerful Stoic teachings is Amor Fati, loving your fate. It's more than just accepting what happens to you. It's about embracing every moment, good or bad, as a stepping stone for your growth. Marcus Aurelius, the Roman emperor and Stoic philosopher, once said, the obstacle to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. In other words, what seems like a roadblock is actually guiding you toward your next move. This mindset is a game changer, especially when you're faced with something unexpected. For example, imagine you lose your job. Naturally, you might feel devastated and unsure of what to do next. But from a stoic point of view, this could be the universe nudging you in a new direction. Maybe to pursue a passion you've long ignored or to start a business you've always dreamed of. The challenge transforms into a gateway to something greater. The same applies to relationships. A difficult breakup could help you discover what you truly need and desire in a partner. It might be painful at the moment, but it sets the stage for growth and a healthier future relationship. Now, how does this relate to the letting go paradox? When you let go of the fear of losing someone or something, you signal to the universe and to others that you trust the process. You're not desperately clinging to what you want. Instead, you're confident enough to let it go, knowing that what's meant for you will naturally gravitate toward you. This creates an effortless pull, making people drawn to your energy. It's the ultimate paradox. By letting go, you make yourself more attractive. There's even science behind this. Quantum physics tells us that everything in the universe vibrates at different frequencies, including our thoughts and emotions. When you shift your mindset to a more positive, harmonious frequency, you attract similar experiences into your life. It's like tuning into a radio station. When you're aligned with the right frequency, the music flows clearly. As Dr. Bruce Lipton, a biologist, explains, the moment you change your perception is the moment you rewrite the chemistry of your body. 
by letting go of negative thoughts, you literally change the way your body responds to life, making you more magnetic to positive experiences and relationships. This isn't about wearing blinders to reality. You'll still face challenges, but your perspective will shift. You'll start seeing those challenges as part of your growth, knowing that every detour is actually guiding you to where you need to be. By letting go and trusting the process, you not only protect your peace of mind, but also allow others to come to you, naturally, without force or manipulation. So, here's your call to action. Step into the flow, embrace the journey, and watch as life works for you, not against you. When you let go of control, the universe has a way of surprising you in the most beautiful ways. Before we move on to the next powerful insight, I'd love to hear your thoughts. What resonates with you about embracing the flow of life and letting go? Share your experiences in the comment below. And if you're enjoying this journey of stoic wisdom, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and share this video with someone who needs a little extra encouragement today. Now, let's continue. Number five, let your imagination take flight. Now, imagine this. You're holding the power to create your reality, not by manipulating others, but by reshaping how you see the world. The Stoics believed this firmly. Marcus Aurelius, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, once said, what we hear is merely an opinion, not a fact. What we see is just a perspective, not the ultimate truth. In other words, how we choose to interpret the world around us influences how we experience it. Reality itself may be fixed, but our perception can be molded and our imagination is the tool that does the shaping. Here's where the paradox of letting go comes in. Sometimes, when you stop trying so hard to control everything, you gain the most control. People feel this too, in relationships especially. Trying to make someone want you, chasing them constantly, only pushes them further away. But when you let go, when you focus on your own life and embrace the possibilities before you, something remarkable happens. You become more magnetic. Your confidence grows, and others are naturally drawn to that energy. It's almost like, by stepping back, you pull them in effortlessly. So, how does this apply in a practical sense? Think of your mind as a workshop where endless possibilities exist. For instance, you're thinking about taking a new career path or launching a project. Start by envisioning yourself thriving in that role. Picture the success, the fulfilled life, the joy of achieving your goals. This isn't daydreaming, it's training your subconscious to align with what you desire. People like Oprah Winfrey, who climbed from humble beginnings to a global media empire, have mastered this. She didn't just work hard, she visualized the life she wanted long before she lived it. As she famously said, create the highest, grandest vision possible for your life, because you become what you believe. And the same applies to relationships. If you focus your energy on becoming the best version of yourself, people will notice without you even needing to chase them. Even science backs this up. Take neuroplasticity, the brain's ability to form new neural connections. Your imagination, when used with intention, literally rewires your brain to create the future you want. In fact, Quantum physics suggests that your thoughts might even influence the quantum field, the underlying energy that connects everything in the universe. By imagining positive outcomes, you might be aligning yourself with forces that draw those very outcomes into your life. So, why not start now? Let go of trying to force everything into place and allow your imagination to guide you. Visualize the life you want, the relationships you desire, and watch how effortlessly things begin to align. 
When you harness this power, the opportunities are boundless. By shaping your inner world, you attract the outer experiences you've always dreamed of. The paradox is real. When you let go, you gain everything. Number six, letting life unfold and trusting how it progresses. Imagine you're holding a handful of sand. The tighter you squeeze, the more it slips through your fingers. The same applies to relationships, desires, and even life itself. The more you chase, the more elusive things become. But when you open your hand, letting the sand rest freely, it stays with you. This idea perfectly mirrors the stoic approach to letting go. And when you master it, you effortlessly draw people and experiences toward you without force or struggle. It's the paradox of letting go. By releasing your tight grip on the outcome, you actually gain more of what you desire. Now, let's talk about embracing the flow and trusting the process. The Stoics understood that life is full of uncertainty and chaos, but the key to happiness is not in controlling everything. It's in maintaining inner calm amid the storm. Seneca, a famous Stoic philosopher, once said, True happiness is to savor the present without anxious dependence on the future. Think about that for a moment. When you're constantly worried about what's to come or trying to control every aspect of your life, you actually block yourself from experiencing joy and fulfillment in the now. It doesn't mean you stop having goals or ambitions, but rather you learn to trust the process. By focusing on what you can control, your thoughts, your emotions, and your actions, you become a master of your own life rather than a victim of circumstances. This mindset shift allows you to flow effortlessly with life's ups and downs, attracting the things you want without the constant need to push for them. Here's where the idea of the letting go paradox really comes into play. When you stop obsessing over whether someone wants you, whether you'll achieve a certain goal, or whether things will go exactly as planned, you ironically start attracting those very things. It's about shifting your energy from desperation and control to trust and abundance. When you let go of negative barriers, like fear, self-doubt, or insecurities, you create space for abundance to naturally flow into your life. This applies to relationships, career, and personal growth. In today's fast-paced world, it's easy to get caught up in a cycle of wanting more, needing more, and chasing after things outside of us. But if you take a moment to pause and trust in the natural flow of the universe, you'll find that the things meant for you will come your way effortlessly. As Deepak Chopra, a modern thinker, puts it, the universe is a realm of infinite possibilities. When you align yourself with this truth and stop letting fear or doubt control your actions, the universe begins to conspire in your favor. Think about it. How often do we block our own blessings because we're too busy holding on to ideas that don't serve us? Fear of rejection, the need for validation, or the constant chase for success can actually push away the things we want. But when you let go of these negative thoughts and barriers, you allow the energy of abundance, love, and happiness to flow in. It's like making space in your life for the good things to enter. This isn't an overnight transformation. It takes time to practice letting go and embracing the flow of life. But each small step forward opens up new possibilities. You'll notice how your mindset shifts how people are drawn to your calm energy, and how opportunities start appearing without effort. By weaving these stoic principles into your daily life, you can transform how you approach everything, from relationships to your deepest aspirations. Remember, the key is patience. Trust the process. Release the tension. Let go of the need to control every outcome and allow the serene rhythm of life to guide you. 
You are on the brink of receiving everything you've desired. Love, success, peace, just by letting go and aligning with the flow of the universe. Your journey is unfolding exactly as it should, and the more you release, the more you receive. Number seven, what you desire is coming to you. Stoicism teaches us that while we don't control everything, we do control how we respond to what happens in our lives. This isn't about suppressing your emotions or acting like you don't care. It's about mastering your desires and understanding that peace and joy come from within, not from external validation. Seneca, the great Stoic philosopher, once said, True happiness lies in relishing the present moment without undue worry about the future. That's where the power lies, in being content, right here, right now, regardless of what you're pursuing. The paradox of letting go is this. When you stop obsessing over what you want, whether it's someone's attention or a goal you've set, you become more attractive, more magnetic. People are naturally drawn to those who exude peace and self-assurance. When you're not constantly grasping for validation or trying to control everything, you start radiating a calm confidence that others find irresistible. It's almost like they feel safer around you because you're no longer placing your happiness in their hands. Think about it. Have you ever noticed that when you finally stop caring about something you were so hung up on, it suddenly seems to come back to you? That's because you've shifted your energy. Instead of pushing, you're allowing. Instead of focusing on lack, you're embracing abundance. You're signaling to the world that you're good with or without that outcome. And in that freedom, your desires have room to flow towards you. Seneca's wisdom connects perfectly with modern psychology. Studies in positive psychology show that when we focus on happiness in the present, it creates a ripple effect, boosting our creativity, productivity, and resilience. This is what Sean Accor calls the happiness advantage. The more you cultivate joy now, the more success and fulfillment you're bound to attract. And that's the beauty of it. You don't have to chase happiness. You invite it by living fully in the present, appreciating what you already have, and trusting that your desires are on their way. So here's the key. Let go. Stop trying so hard to control every detail or force things to happen. Trust that the universe, life, or whatever you believe in is aligning things perfectly in your favor. Joy isn't a destination. It's the way you walk the path. It's found in the little moments, the warmth of the sun, the laughter of friends, the small victories that happen when you least expect them. As you release your need to control outcomes, you make space for the things you want to come to you. Your desires are on their way. Trust that. Let go and watch how effortlessly things begin to fall into place. As we conclude today's session, I hope you've discovered both motivation and actionable insights on the art of releasing and enhancing attraction. We've explored our deepest desires, questioned restrictive beliefs, and accepted the idea that everything happens in divine timing. This experience is more than just an educational endeavor. It's a transformative one. Every moment of mindfulness advances you towards the prosperity, love, and achievement that are inherently yours. I am profoundly grateful for your participation in examining these impactful Stoic teachings. Your involvement enriches this exploration and adds significant value. As you proceed on your journey, remember to treat yourself with kindness, savor the present moment, and have faith that whatever is destined for you will undoubtedly arrive. If this video struck a chord with you, please hit like and subscribe for more uplifting content. We're eager to hear about your journey in the comments below. Your stories inspire us. 
For further insights, take a look at the videos displayed on your screen. They are selected to support you on your continued path to wisdom. Thank you for being an integral part of our community. Your ideal life is just around the bend, ready for you to claim it. Until we meet again, stay motivated and continue to draw in greatness.